What's up guys, this is Seth with TomorrowsFilmmakers.com and today we're going to be talking about the best weather conditions to shoot in for cinematic video. Now as you can see it's a little rainy outside and whereas most people would stay inside and sleep, us filmmakers will get outside during this type of weather and start to shoot because we know how awesome this type of weather could be for video. Now this is a topic that I'm super excited to talk about because I love outdoor shooting and since I shoot a lot of travel projects and have shot in just about every weather condition possible, broad daylight, winter storm, ocean sunset, rainy mountaintop, you name it and I've filmed it. Out of all of them though, there were certain parts of the day that no matter what I shot, it looked cinematic. The lighting was just perfect. And then there were times where no matter what I shot, whatever camera or lens it was, it just looked terrible. You see, it's shocking just how shooting at a certain time of the day can really change everything about the shot. In today's video, I want to show you three times to shoot that I think are the best conditions and time of the day for creativity to roam free and to be able to produce an incredible cinematic image. We'll dive deep into each condition and talk about certain aspects that make them great to shoot in. We'll also be filming in each of these conditions so that you can see exactly what we are talking about. I also want to show my preferences on where I like to shoot each one and how I use each weather condition to my advantage. But even though you will know the best time to shoot, if you don't know what you're doing, your images still won't look cinematic. If you want to learn all about how to get a cinematic image and everything to do with filmmaking, you can check out our courses at tomorrowsfilmmakers.com. Inside, we will show you exactly how to get the most cinematic image out of your camera. We have over a thousand training videos and over a hundred hours of content on every single aspect of filmmaking taught by leading professionals in the film industry. Learn with over 15,000 students in over 50 countries, a lifetime membership to our award-winning 800 dollar film course is only 97 bucks if you want to take advantage of this crazy deal you can check out our website in the link below and head on over to tomorrowsfilmmakers.com to learn more so the first weather condition and one of my favorites is golden hour the reason it's one of my favorites is because golden hour looks good pretty much anywhere golden hour is the first hour of light when the sun is coming up and the last hour of light when it's going down this will give you even lighting on your subject and usually makes the background sky look beautiful one of my favorite places to shoot at golden hour is in the mountains I shoot sunrises and sunsets all the time in the mountains and it's definitely one of my favorite locations and times of the day to capture cinematic footage. The views are amazing and watching the sun go down over a distant mountain range in the horizon is a spectacular sight. Golden Hour gives off beautiful, uplifting, happy vibes, so you'll want your subjects smiling, having a good time to really help with that Golden Hour feeling. One of the key things to remember for shooting at Golden Hour is to make sure and pre-plan. Since Golden Hour is a short period of time, you want to make sure you have everything planned out before you ever leave to go shoot. So this includes what shots you're going to get, the exact location you'll be going to, the time you'll be getting there, and the time it takes to get there. I've missed quite a few sunrises and sunsets in the past because of poor planning and not taking the time beforehand to optimize my time once I actually get there. So pre-planning is vital. Now as far as actual shooting goes, I highly recommend shooting into the sun for cinematic lens flares, cool silhouettes, and golden sun rays. If you shoot away from the sun, then your subject might be facing directly towards the sun, which will cause them to squint, and the image itself just won't look as cinematic. Now there are some creative shots you can get shooting away from the sun, but for the most part, I think shooting into the sun gives off some of the best cinematic images. Slow motion looks cool in pretty much every scenario, but especially with Golden Hour. Slow motion gives Golden Hour a more dreamy, cinematic effect when you're shooting slow motion, when the sun rays slowly move across the subject and objects in front of it. Another thing to remember is to try and have a subject to add more composition for Golden Hour to complement. For this, we have a person walking and running through some tall grass. Another example could be someone in the ocean with waves splashing by. Last summer, I went to the beach and shot a cinematic film at sunrise Golden Hour with the subject in the waves, and it all created a really cool composition for the video. Golden Hour is one of my favorites and is a super popular time to shoot at, and for a very good reason. The next one we're going to talk about is Blue Hour. Now, Blue Hour is kind of forgotten about a lot. People will go out to shoot Golden Hour, and then once the sun goes down, pack up and head back home. But that time of blue after the sun goes down, whether it's an hour or 30 minutes, blue hour, in my opinion, is even more fun to shoot in. I used to be the same way though. I'd only go out to shoot golden hour and then after the sunset, I'd call it a day and pack up my gear. I've just recently started to get into shooting blue hour more because it gives off such a cool cinematic vibe that is totally different from golden hour, but happens about an hour apart from each other. Blue Hour, like I said, is a different mood than Golden Hour. Where Golden Hour is kind of uplifting and happy, Blue Hour is more chill and subtle. The sun has gone down and the world around you turns to a cinematic blue shade that makes for an incredible video and super fun color grading in post. 
One of the best places to shoot blue hour in is by a body of water, like a lake or a beach. These areas allow you to see more of the sky, which is a main component in blue hour since the sky turns into a cinematic blue. Also, the blue tones of the water really help complement the blue hour vibes and colors of the sky. The beach or lakeside at blue hour is a very calming, relaxing place to be, so it complements the mood that blue hour gives off as well. Now, I would highly recommend using a camera and lens that is good in low light, since of course you'll be shooting in a low light scene. Now, for blue hour, you can really get shots of whatever you want. At golden hour, I mentioned trying to focus on shots of a subject or with an object to give more composition for the sun to play with. Blue hour though is different. You can obviously shoot subjects, but even getting shots of just the sky or the water to add in with subject shots will really enhance your visual. So if you've never shot in blue hour, which is the short period of time after the sun goes down and before it gets super dark outside, I highly recommend giving it a shot because it provides a really cool cinematic image. And the third one we have is a moody, cloudy atmosphere. Now, a moody, cloudy day is another one of my absolute favorite weather conditions to shoot in. It not only gives off a cool vibe, but the clouds act as a filter for the sunlight, so nothing is really overexposed, and it's super easy and fun to color grade. Now, like I said, with golden hour, you kind of have to put the sun at the back of the subject, but with overcast weather, you can shoot wherever you want on the subject since everything is properly exposed. Your image and all the light is really flat, so it makes getting a proper exposure very easy. Again, you can shoot in this weather condition wherever you want and I actually really like shooting in the mountains since clouds and fog can be at higher altitudes and actually be level where you're shooting which makes for an even cooler shot. Throwing up a drone while fog is in the atmosphere around you is probably the coolest composition you can get with a camera in my opinion. The fog adds an element to your image unlike anything else especially if it's fog that is moving relatively quickly. For this example though we'll be shooting in a city environment which is one of my top location recommendations for shooting on a cloudy day. The reason not only being because it just looks Looks cool but since there's a lot of buildings around you when it's brighter outside the sun can reflect off those buildings and even if you're shooting away from the sun the sun can reflect off those buildings and bounce back into your image when it's cloudy you obviously don't have that problem and the buildings have a nice cinematic look to them with a subtle light of a cloudy day bouncing off them you're also able to shoot up into the sky and get shots of tall buildings without shooting into direct sunlight or the sky being overexposed so you can get those cool low shots of someone walking and looking up and around at the buildings around them like I mentioned earlier, a cloudy day is probably the best weather condition for getting proper exposure and easy color grading. Color grading with a cloudy atmosphere is so much fun. You can be more flexible with settings and try out different looks since the super flat image gives you the capability to do that. So if you're planning a shoot day and will be shooting in the middle of the day, try and wait for a cloudier day so you can have a nicely exposed image and to provide more creative flexibility while shooting and in post while color grading. And for a little extra, when weather kind of sucks like this, go out and film. Some of the crappiest weather makes for the best images. Stuff like snow, maybe a rainstorm, those type of weather conditions really enhance your visuals and where most people would stay inside, us filmmakers should go outside and capture these types of images. So yes, conditions like golden hour, blue hour, and cloudy make for great video, but even if it's like raining or snowing, go outside and film that too. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and learned some things along the way. For me, creating a nice cinematic image is super important and the weather and time of day directly correlates with that. So making sure that I'm planning my shoots for conditions like golden hour or blue hour is necessary and helps in my creative storytelling. If you wanna learn even more about filmmaking, you can check out our full course at tomorrowsfilmmakers.com. We have over a thousand training videos and over a hundred hours of content on every single aspect of filmmaking that you can imagine. If you'd like to join over 15,000 other students just like you pursue their dreams and learn all about film click the link below and sign up for a full academy for 90 percent off a lifetime membership for our award-winning 800 dollars film course is only 97 bucks so click the link in the description and head on over to tomorrowsfilmmakers.com to learn all the skills that you need to succeed <clears throat> oh i can't say that <laughs> it says we're filming out in the field as the sun's going <laughs> oh, <yeah>. down <laughs> Just skip it then. Yeah, we'll just skip that one because I said something about the rain.